Good evening. Hello, everyone. Everybody. How are you? Very fine. Thank you. Oh, you're good. That's great. Okay. Wow, guys. Almost the last round. We are almost in the last round. Video conference number 19. Who can tell me what is the topic of this evening's class? Who can tell me? What is the topic of this evening's class? Aha, uh -huh. you didn't check it. I didn't check in the topic, teacher. I'm sorry. And don't I don't have many times. Ah, you didn't have so much time. You didn't have so much time to check the class before before it starts. Okay, don't worry. Okay, guys, we're gonna start taking the attendance. This is very important. Uh, as you receive the, uh, a notification from people from Regal um, International, it is of great importance that you complete the time, the minutes, um, so that you can continue in the next model, okay? So let's start. Alba Vides. Present. Alfredo Alexander. Present teacher. The first one always connected. <laughs> Amir Carcañengues. Present. Carlos Rodriguez. Present. Domingo Gonzalez. Present. Oh, I'm sorry. After Carlos is Cristina Romero. Okay, um, Domingo present. Fátima Portillo. Matías Lemus. I'm here. Marco Velázquez. Marlon Cardona. Present. Marcos Marco is present. present in the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mauricio Mahano. Maideli Judis. Nancy Rodriguez. Rocío Martínez. Salvador Escobar. Sandra Velázquez. Present teacher. Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter Daniel González. William Eduardo Pérez. Jasmine Melanie Lemos. Okay, thank you so much guys for being here on time. Let's see. So as I was telling you, uh, this is a video conference number 19 and see what the topic is. The topic is how to use zero conditionals. Zero conditionals, okay? It's a very important and interesting topic. You have a lot of things this What is that, guys? Okay, guys, um, and let's see, William and Walter and my daily present. Class objective, 
Uh, Mr. Cañencas, can you please read the class objective? Ah, oh, Mr. Cañencas, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, participants, participants will be able to complete some statements individually in board game using zero conditional. Okay, so you're gonna learn how to use zero conditional. And the activities we have today are the following. Marlon Cardona, can you please read the, the activities in the agenda? Sure. Activity warm up. Practicing gerunds. Activity one, if and when. Activity two, creating conversations. Activity three, listening practice and warm up. Thank you so much. So those are the activities that we have for the class. The first one is the warm up practice in Jaren. So, in groups, you are going, or in pairs, you are going to answer these questions when you work. Do you like working in big groups? Yes, no, why? Are you eager about sharing your ideas? Yes, no, or why? Eager means excited. Es como ansioso o con deseos de compartir sus ideas. Are you eager about sharing your ideas? Yes, no, and why? Do you like working with multi multitasking people? Yes, no, why? Do you enjoy finishing work early? Yes, no, and why? Do you dislike hanging out with colleagues after work? Yes, no, and why? Um, you can find this this table or t uh -huh, in your in your handbook and in su manual. Um, it's in the in the last pages. You can find this one. Okay, so you're gonna practice, and you have to answer in complete sentences. For example, eh, Alfredo. Do you like working in big groups when you work? In your workplace? Yes. Uh -huh. Can you answer in a complete uh, sentence? Yes, I work in, in groups. Yes, I like I working. Like working in I like working in big groups. Okay, why? Because I like practice with my partners. I like practicing. I like practicing with my partner. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do in groups. You have to answer the questions and why. So you need to have this. I will assign you with a partner. Go ahead, please, and work with a partner to ask and answer the questions. Yes, 
el, el, no sé cuál es tan, está do you like working in big group no. hello teacher Espérate, vamos a preguntar hello hi we answered the question of number five of how to use zero conditional or other no, the question is practicing gerunds where you see a orange table. Orange table. So sorry, but. Orange. Anyways, I'm gonna send it on in the group also. Okay. Consolidate. Sorry. I I sent in the WhatsApp okay. group. Okay. You're gonna ask Domingo about if he. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like working in a big groups? Okay. Are you. Eager? It's okay. Eager? Eager? Are you. Do you like. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Are you eager about sharing eager. your ideas? Ah, eager. Okay. Eager about sharing your ideas do you like uh, working with yeah i'm going to send a, a message with the pronunciation okay all right give me a second Okay, guys, good evening. I am going to uh, tell you the pronunciation of the questions so that you uh, can practice them with the correct pronunciation, okay? The first question is, when you work, do you like working in big groups? Question number two, when you work, are you eager about sharing your ideas? Number three, when you work, do you like working with multitasking people? Question number four, when you work, do you enjoy finishing work on early? And the last question, when you work, do you dislike hanging out um, with colleagues after work? Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Okay, are you practicing asking and answering the questions? Are you asking and answering the questions? Mm. Okay, yes, those are the questions. Okay, when you work, do you like working in big groups? Usted va a contestar la pregunta. En su trabajo, cuando trabaja, ¿le gusta trabajar en grupos grandes? Second question, are you uh, no sharing la... your ideas? Yes, yes, I En la segunda dice, es, le gusta Está ansiosa de compartir sus ideas. La tres, le gusta trabajar con personas multitasking, multitareas. Eh, disfruta terminar el trabajo a tiempo o, o, o luego. No le gusta mucho salir con sus compañeros de trabajo después del trabajo. Con sus colegas. Entonces eso es lo que usted tiene que contestar sí. O no, y por qué. Ok. Ok, teacher. 
un vocabulario fluido. Ok, eh, we want to, we like want to, to listen shower. to Carlos too. Carlos. Ok. What do you think, Carlos? In my, in my case, in my case, no, uh, no, no eager, no eager about sharing my ideas. Um, because I can, I, I can, I can con control, <laughs> Control my, my nervous. Ah, okay. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I can't control to nervous. To nervous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, But next question. Are you, are you a shy? <laughs> Carlos? Do you, do you considering uh, Uh, to shy or shy? Do you consider yourself a shy person? Ok. <ríe> es lo que digo. Frases a medias. Yourself. No. I not consider it. Okay, Cristina, is someone working? No, nobody's working with you. Teacher, lo voy a hacer sola, pero acabo de entrar. Ah, that's why, okay. But if you want, I can send you to another group. Okay. Guys, you have another classmate now, and it's that's Christina. Okay, so you can help her. Yes, thank you. When you the second is. Um, are you eager about sharing your ideas? To say yes, yes, because I like help to do the work more fast and easy. Hello, hello, teacher. Can you repeat the 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 answer, please? The the answer the, the answer yes, because I like help to do the work more fast and easy. Okay. I like... Yeah. I like helping. Helping. Mm -hmm. Double P? No. no. Only one P. One P. Helping. I like helping. A and you. Uh-huh. I okay. like helping. And I don't, I don't remember the other, the next part of the sentence. Um, because I like helping to do mm -hmm. you know, to do the work faster faster work or I, I like helping to do the work faster the work faster uh, instead of more fast is faster faster okay mm -hmm. faster and easy and, Más easy, rápido y and fácil. easier and easier y más fácil, yeah. easier. ¿No han visto los comparativos quizás aún, verdad? Easier. No. Is e e a e e a s i e r a e r. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say e a s i e r. Easier. Easier. Okay. Easier. Are you about to finish? Or not yet? Uh, you need more time. 
Uh, uh, more time, teacher, because I only do the second. Okay. Continue. Continue. Number three. Do you like working while more multitasking? Multitasking people. Multitasking people. Yeah. Multitasking people. I'm in my thoughts. Yes. Finish because I love the the Friday. I love Fridays. <laughs> I love Friday. I love Friday. Um, but um, because I live, I living early at work. What time do you live at work on Fridays? 5 p.m. And normally, 6. 6 p.m. And sometime about the example these days, uh, for to for to tax, for to pay tax, um, I live to 99 or 10 p.m. At 10 p.m., at 9 p.m. or yeah. 10 p.m.? 9 or 10 p.m. Today? Uh, yes, uh, but uh, someday, no mm -hmm. all day. Okay. Only, someday. only uh, in estos días. Only son... these days because you have to pay taxes in exactly. Lua, and you have a little work. Yes, two or three days at month. Okay. Teacher, what, what is hanging? Hanging out, salir. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, hang. Como salir hanging. a pasear. Hanging is salir. Oh, chica. Hang out. Hanging Como salir out. a pasear, a salir a andar por ahí. Okay. Yay. Hello, Matias. Are you working uh. with Alba? Is Alba um, working with you? And she is your he is his son. Children. Chill. She is taking care of her child. Child, mm -hmm. yes. Well, um, she's taking care of her son. Okay. Okay. What What about if I um send you to another group? Mm -hmm. Do you agree with this? And my answer, uh, my question number one. Yep. Okay. Okay, but yes, do you um? Hey, do you like working in my in big groups? Uh -huh. Do you like working in big groups? Yes. Because yes, I do. Yes, I do. Why? Yes. Uh, because when we do more, we work less. Mm, with more people, we work less. That's right. Yes. Okay. And the second question: Are you eager to share your idea about sharing your ideas? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. okay, I'm sorry because of the dog is barking. Oh, yes, 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 I am. Yes, I am. Because they always take me into account. That's right. That um, your ideas are decent. 
and take them into account. Okay. What about the next question? The next uh, question. Do you, do you like, like working, working with multitasking people? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, because they make my job very easy. Okay, they make your jobs easier. Yo soy uno de esas personas. You are multitasking. Yes, soy el que le hago más fácil el trabajo a los demás para que no les cueste y salga bien el trabajo. Okay, great. I am sure your colleagues appreciate your work and your boss too. Okay, do you enjoy finishing work early? Uh, yes, I do. Because I go driving to my house and relax in the afternoon. Okay, this question refers about finishing the work at, that you have to do, the tasks you have at work. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy finishing the work early? No leaving work, finishing the, the oh, tasks. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, okay, I, I, see, I, see, really, see. I really enjoy finishing my work early for example today we have to make some reports sería, and the last uh, day and the last day to, to send the report is tomorrow mm -hmm. but i finished it today because i i prefer to finish early <laughs> than leaving things until the last moment okay entonces sería yes i do i because I enjoy enjoy raving to my house and relax in the afternoon. O sea, me gusta manejar, teacher. Y me no, gusta pero... manejar más que todo cuando salgo del trabajo. Yes, I understand. Uno lleva tranquilo, aunque sea, aunque haya lluvia. Entonces yo disfruto manejar yendo para mi casa, obvio. ¿Cómo entiendo usted la pregunta? O sea, la pregunta es, ¿disfruta terminar su trabajo luego? O sea, no, yes. de, no dejar el trabajo e irse para su casa, sino... Ah, es que ya, alguna, ya le entendí, ya le entendí. Alguna tarea que usted tenga que hacer en su trabajo. Oh, ya le entendí, yo le entendí mal la pregunta. Yo le okay. entendía de que si yo disfrutaba terminar mi trabajo luego para poder irme para mi casa luego. Ajá, eso era lo que entendía, porque en mi caso así es. Cuando ya no tengo nada y... No tengo nada, a la vez a las 3 de la tarde me vengo para la casa. Entonces, por eso es que yo le decía así. Yes, I know. <risa> I, that's why I, I, I am clarifying the point. <risa> ok. Yeah, um, but you can say, yes, I like finishing my work early so that I can have more time to do other activities, like going home earlier. Ok. You don't <risa> have to stay more time at work. Mm -hmm. wow. Sí, sí podría ser. Okay. okay. And the other question is: Do you dislike hanging huh? out with colleagues after work? No, I do. I don't. You no, don't dislike, I... so you like it. Uh, no. Yes, solo esa no. Esa no. Is no, I don't. But si dice no, I don't, es que si le gusta. Porque la pregunta es: No le gusta. Do you dislike? ¿Le disgusta? Oh. ¿Le disgusta salir con sus compañeros? That is the question. Ah, pues sí. Yes, I do. Ok. <risa> okay. Está rara la pregunta. Sí, yo pensé que decía, do you like? No, Pero es like. Do you dislike? Es disgustar, sí. Uh -huh. Ok, okay. que no me gusta. Eso significa Exacto. Que... Oh, guys, you're about to finish. Hello, hello. Are you about to finish? Yes, I finished. You are finished. Okay, that's great. 
Domingo, do you like, no, no, I'm sorry. Do you dislike hanging out with colleagues after work? ¿Le disgusta salir con sus compañeros después del trabajo? Ah, oh, perdón, excuse me. Ah, uh, mm, I think it's more. Yes. <laughs> Ay, no está loco. No me gusta. I don't like. Oh. Entonces sería, yes, I do. I don't like hanging out with my colleagues after work. Ah, Why? Okay. Why, Domingo? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> eh, es, I, 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 my person reserve. Oh, you're a conservative person. Cuando no son extrovertidos, ¿cómo se dice? Introverted. Introverted, ok. You're not very sociable. What about you, Marco? Do you dislike hanging out with your colleagues after work? Yes, yes. I like share with my partners, ideas, memories, uh, um, games. Okay, so you like, you like. The yes. question is, do you dislike? Dislike. Ah, entonces sería no. No, I, I don't. No, I don't. I like hanging out with my colleagues. Okay, what do you usually do when you hang out with them? Um, talking about the work, talking about something uh, personal. Um, we eat. Okay, you like eat. eating with them. Yeah, eating. Yeah, like Only it. eating? <laughs> eating. Uh, and this day, uh, uh, fui al seguro, ¿cómo se dice? Today, I went to the hospital. Uh -huh. To the hospital. And my weight is 70, no, yeah. 70. 70 kilograms. I think that I, my weight was um, 145 pounds, but no. No, I think it's more. No. It's a uh, 155.1 pounds. Oh, it's 154. No, 55. Okay, 155. Yeah. Says, I, I the calculator think that, says 154. Yeah, yes, yes, but I think that, uh, I, I think that, that I was, 145, but now I have 155 pounds. Mm. Wait, it's, it's more, it's up. So you have gained weight. Yeah. Okay. But don't worry, that, that happens to me too. <laughs> yes, my weight is like 60 and something kilograms. So we almost weigh the same. <laughs> yeah. Okay, people, I think it's time to go back to the main station, okay? All right.
Ok. Were you able to finish asking and answering all the questions? Hello. Did you finish asking and answering all the questions? Yeah. Yes, okay, good. Yeah, I was checking on some groups and I, I was looking at your answers and that is great. Okay, guys, I think we need to move on to the next activity because of the time and because the topic of today, it's, it requires a lot of practice. So let's see. Give me one moment, please. Okay. So as we learned yesterday, remember that after some verbs, we use the ing form. For example, you say, I like working in big groups. I am eager about sharing my ideas. I like working with multi multitasking people. I enjoy finishing work early. And I dislike hanging out with my colleagues after work. Now guys, here we have some vocabulary practice. So tell me um, about this vocabulary. According to your company, decide where the following financial statements go. For example, which ones are reported are reported monthly and which ones are reported only once a year? For example, the balance sheet. Is this monthly or annually? Annually. Okay. Monthly proper. The balance sheet. No, 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 Sí, o sea, la, no hay una regla específica, aunque se sobreentiende que es anual. Un balance, el balance general, y comprobación es el principal. Yeah, okay. it's once a year. Sorry, it's only once a year. Okay, what about the income statements? Monthly or once a year? Monthly. Income They statement. are monthly, exactly, because mm -hmm. you need to know how much money is It's coming in, right? <laughs> how, much, how much you are earning. So yes, income statements are monthly reported. What about the equity statement? El estado capital. Is that yeah. monthly or once a year? One year. Once, once a year. Once a year. year. Okay, what about the cash, the cash flow statement? The cash flow? Monthly. 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 Okay, and the annual budget? Yes. Once a year. Once a year. Yeah, year. the word says annual, right? So it's only once a year. Very good. Now, guys, here we have a consolidated balance sheet, January 31st, 2017. You can see a great amount of money, millions, millions. <laughs> okay, so this is one example of a balance sheet. According to this, you have to, you have to tell me the answers of the following questions. How much is the total of assets and liabilities in 2017 or 2017? How much is the total of assets and liabilities? Okay, we have here the, you have to make an addition. 
you have to, uh, we have this plus this. Okay, you have to make the addition. Tiene que hacer la suma de estos dos para obtener total set. You have to, uh, you have this quantity plus this quantity and the result is the total of liability. So you have to uh, make the addition, tiene que hacer la suma of these two quantities and then you are going to make another addition, this total plus this total and then you will have the result of total of assets en total of liabilities. Entonces, ¿qué van a hacer? Van a sumar esto más esto. And you will get the result. Then, you, tiene que sumar esto más esto y va a tener ahí el total de liabilities. Luego suma ambos y ahí ven, va a tener el total tanto de assets como de liabilities. It's a very big quantity. Can you, can you say this? Big amount of money. Ocho, ocho billones, ocho. No, porque oh, tiene otro punto. Son ocho, ocho billones. Noventa y un millones. Eso es la cantidad, porque no se ven dos ceros al final, sino que tres. Exactly. Yes. Okay, yeah, but in English, tell me. Billions, Exacto. billions. Eighty billion. Eighty eh, billion. 8 billion, ok. Mm -hmm. 8, 8 billion. 8 billion en 91 million. <laughs> 91, oh, 91 so decía yo. Under a, a. No, 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 no. 91, eh. 91 million. 91, 91 million. Yes, yes. 91 million. 8 billion. 8 billion. 91 billion. 91 billion. Million. I think it has to be 1,000 million. No. Uh-huh. Yes, because Mil first, no, yes, no first are millions, then 1,000 no, and no. then billion. Mm -hmm. Check it out. 8,000 million. Yes. No, no. No, yes. porque estábamos hablando de billones ya. Son 8 no. billones. Y es porque los seis ceros, los seis ceros nos están diciendo que los 91 son millones. Son millones, sí. ajá. Después Exacto. son mil millones. Y después no, de mil millones es billón. Son mil billones. Billones, sí, billones. Después de 999 mil millones. Millones va un billón. Vaya. Richard, y se puede pronunciar el número por número. So the total is a billions ninety one thousand millions, right? Ninety nine thousand. No, 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 million, no, 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 8 billion, oh. yes, 8. 8 million, billion. Billion. No, 8 billion. 8 million. 0, 091 million. 91 million. 91 million. Yes, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0. Point and 0, 0. se comió 3 0. Why? Y el de, y el ahí, ahí le faltan también. tres ceros, teacher, al final. No. Como no, una comida. ¿Eh? Ya aparecieron. Hoy sí, ya aparecieron. <risa> ah, Vaya, allí sería punto cero cero. Ajá, okay. todavía los centavos, le faltan los centavos. Exactly, exactly. Ok, what about the other? You have to make the other addition. Four billions for four hundred eighty-three million. No, no, no. Four thousand, four thousand millions, four hundred eighty-three millions. No. No. It's four billion. Yeah, I said billions. What? Uh, Fourteen billion. Four hundred. 14 billion. 
14 billion. Billion, okay. 339 million. Excellent. Okay, exactly. Wow. Ya veo que sí, son bien pro para las mates y el pisto. Ah. Accounting. Okay, very good. Oh, I made a mistake. Give me a second. No. That's what I got. Yes, ocho y cinco, tres, cuatro, cinco, trece. Sí, es tres, tres. Yes, this is a correct. Yes. Ah, sí, es trece, ¿no? Sí, sí, es. Es trece. Sí, es, sí, es. Sí, estamos bien. Three billion. Three billion. Three billion. One. No, four. Four hundred. Fifty one. Fifty one. Fifty one million. million. Yes. Million, sí. Million, yes. mil millones. Okay. Millón es un millón. Marlon sent something to the group. We have six, nine, ten numbers. Three billion. Four fifty one million. Ah, uh -huh. yes, four six fifty three, one million, three billion. Fourteen billions. Four, no. four, four, five, five hundred, one. no, four hundred fifty one million, fifty one million, four hundred fifty one million. Oh, okay. Now we have another exercise here. How much is well, okay, now. How, how much is the total of assets in liabilities? We are, ya lo tenemos, it's in the previous, right? If we add 867 millions and 2,584 millions, the result is? What is the result? Three thousand four hundred fifty one millions. Wow, a lot of money. Three billion. Four hundred fifty one. Mm, I think it's, I think guys that we are mistaken. I think it's 3,000 me, 3,000? No. 451 millions. See, 3,000 is correct, uh, Matias. 3,451 millions. Yes, yes, yes. Is that correct? Why? Porque no. Está diciendo three thousand tres mil. Tres mil millones. Tres mil mil millones. Tres mil cuatrocientos cincuenta y uno millones. No. 
Pero son tres, tres mil, billones. Millones. Tres, tres, tres billones. billones. No, tres esto, billones. Tres. No, no es tres en el mil. Chat yo mandé una imagen. Y un billón no es un no son mil millones. ¿Ah? En el chat yo mandé una imagen. Mil millones es un billón. Mil millones es un billón. Ahí hay tres bien? mil millones. Exacto. Tres thousand. Tres mil millones. O tres billones. Tres billones. Mm, tres billion. Tres billion. Mm, entonces sería tres thousand. No, tres billions. Billions. Tres billions. Tres thousand. Four hundred fifty one millions. Yes, Primero okay. billions y después millones. Three billions. Es más mejor en español. Four hundred fifty one millions. Eso, sí, yeah. eso es lo bonito. Yeah. Sí, es mejor okay. en español. Yes, es we, más we mejor had en it. español. Además we nunca vamos a llegar hasta allí, crean. <laughs> No, ahí está. Okay, ahí está let's continue with zero más. conditionals. It's almost nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. It's difficult to discuss with you. Okay, so how do you use zero conditional? A conditional, we have condition and we have a result. For example, we, use, we can use if or when. What do we do if we have very low assets? If we have low assets, this is the condition, we have to even up prices. Or we have to even up prices if we have low assets. Good asset. Um, Like the 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 the, the... Activo. Uh -huh. Activo. Yeah, in Spanish it's like that. <laughs> the goods. Okay. Mm -hmm. What a company has. ¿Qué estamos haciendo si nosotros tenemos más activos o menos activos? Very low. Tenemos bajos activos. Bajos. Ah. Tenemos que subir los precios. Nosotros tenemos que subir los precios si tenemos bajos Ajá. activos. Uh -huh. Ok. Y ahí no, no, puede, no puede ir eh, little asset. Asset. O asset little. Mm. ¿Qué es con little? Como poquito. No. Y ese es como bajos. Como... Como bajo. yeah. Thank you, Mr. Cañengues. En Little se estaría refiriendo a algo. A tamaño. Oh, oh ya entendí. Gracias. Ya te entendí. Okay, what about the other example? Where does your family go if they need a loan? When my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. Or my family goes to the bank when they need a loan. So you can do it. The or you can do it in both orders. Puede ser de las de los dos de la. Um, Significa lo en mismo. el orden de las dos formas, ¿verdad? Dice cuando mi familia necesita un préstamo, ellos van al banco. Mi familia va al banco cuando necesita. Un préstamo. Entonces, puede variar la posición de la condición o de, ah, y del resultado. No importa, lo puede ser al principio o al final. No cambia el significado. ¿Sí? El significado de la oración, ¿verdad? Exacto. Vamos a ver. Sí. Dale, pregunta Carlos, dale. No cañengue. Ya estoy cantimpleando acá. Where does your family go? ¿Dónde va tu familia si necesita un préstamo? Así sería, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde va tu familia si necesitan un préstamo? Uh -huh. ¿O cuando necesitan un préstamo? 
Ok, esa era mi gran duda. Sorry. Dice, no se puede repetir en la misma oración. It, solo una vez. Al principio o, 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 o al final. Bueno, ya le voy a explicar mejor en la próxima imagen. ¿Cómo es la estructura del, del zero conditional? Ok, as you notice, the structure, it can be like this. If, cross a sentence, present simple, coma, and then the result is going to be also in the present simple. This is the zero conditional. Entonces, estamos, eh, usamos dos oraciones. Una oración es la condición, es donde va a ir el if, o donde va a ir el when, y luego el resultado es otra oración. Ambas las vamos a separar con una coma. ¿Para qué lo utilizamos? The usage to talk about things that are always true like a scientific fact. Examples. If you freeze water, it turns into ice. What is the condition? If you freeze yes. water, what is the result? It turns into ice. Both are in the present simple. Second, and if you heat water at 100 degrees, it boils. If students miss an exam, the professor fails them. If my wife has a cold, I usually catch it. I get tired if I work too much. Ah, ahora miren esta, es diferente. El if va en medio, es en la, va en la segunda oración, no al principio. Y cuando va en medio, digámoslo así, no usa una coma. I get tired, este es el resultado. Sí, trabajo mucho. Me canso o oh, me canso. Sí, trabajo mucho. I get tired if I work too much. If I'm late for dinner, They start eating without me. More examples, please. Now, zero conditional with if or when plus present simple. Primero tenemos la if or when plus. If it rains, the grass grows. This is the result. Si llueve, la grama crece. When it rains, cuando llueve, the grass grows, la grama crece. La grama crece, the grass grows, if it rains, or when it rains. ¿Sí? Entonces, uh -huh. tenemos two clauses or two sentences in one. Sí o cuando. Ok. More examples. More examples. We have the if condition plus the result. And both are in the present simple. If you leave ice in the sun, that is the condition. It melts. Okay, si dejas el hielo en el, en el sol. Se derrite, se derrite. Se derrite, okay. More conditions, no, conditions and results. If you stand in the rain, Coma, you get wet. Si te quedas debajo de la lluvia parado, if you stand in the rain, you get wet. Te va a mojar. Te mojará. Te moja, te moja. No, no es futuro, sino que es el presente simple, algo que pasa. You get wet if you stand in the rain. Cuando le damos vuelta, no va a llevar coma. ¿Ya se fijaron? Yes. Ok. Cuando va en medio la oración. El if, ajá, cuando el if va en medio, no lleva coma. Ok. Ok. Come on, teacher. Ok, now guys, we have this example. Miren si pueden con el lapicito. Miren si les funciona y pueden. You have too much. 
one class, the if class with the result, condition and result. For example, if I am late for class, my teacher gets angry. Mm. <laughs> when he stays up very late, and you have a lot of options here. If they don't eat, I always look left and right. My teacher gets angry when he is happy. I take a taxi to work. He is very tired the next morning. That I ride and gets angry. If you want to lose weight, she likes to eat popcorn. That's me. Actually, I have some popcorn here. Um, when it rains, I watch a funny movie. He listens to music. You get good grades in school. If you add some sugar, if I don't have my glasses. No sé si les aparece el lapicito en la pantalla. No, teacher. Ah, bien. Yes. Pero a ustedes. So that you can match. Uh... When... Ah, okay. Very good, Mr. Cañegas. Okay. When he has time up very late, for example, when he is despierto hasta tarde, he is very tired the next morning. Está muy cansado las día siguiente, la mañana siguiente. People get hungry. People get hungry if they don't eat. Okay, if they don't eat. If you study hard, if you study hard. Hi, Mr. Cañé. Sorry. Ocupe unas flechitas. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, if you study hard, what happens if you study hard? You get good grades. Good morning, get hungry. You get good grades. Uh -huh, yes. Letter M. When she watches a movie, she likes I watch a popcorn. funny movie. She, she likes, likes to eat popcorn. Okay. When I cross the street, the library is angry. When I cross the street, cuando cruzo una calle, always look uh, left, right. Always I always look, look left and right. Uh -huh, I always look left and right. A la izquierda y a la derecha, ¿ok? I can't do my homework. The librarian gets hungry. The librarian gets hungry. No, no puedo hacer mi tarea. Watch movie. And if I don't have my glasses. If I don't have my class, glasses because I don't see. He si always. No tengo, okay. Ah, okay. Si no tengo mis lentes. Okay. He always smiles. He listens to music. I watch a funny. No. He listens to music. He always smiles. When he is happy. He when he is when happy. He is happy. Exactly. He is happy. If I miss the bus. If I miss the bus, I take a taxi I to work. I take, I take a, a taxi to work. Okay. When you make lots of noise in the library, uh, where you uh, have to sign it, get angry. That I write and gets angry. Okay. Tea tastes sweet. Tea. You need to add some sugar. If you add yeah, some, sugar, some sugar, you should eat less when it rains. 
No, you should eat no. less. Eat, eat, eat. Ay, como umbrella estaba viendo, teacher. Listen, Mr. Cañegues, listen. If you want to learn, I watch. I watch my no. funny movie. No. Okay, if you want to lose weight, you should um, eat if less. If you want to lose weight. Ah, pues no estén tirando, no estén tirando. You should eat less. I always take my umbrella. When it rains. When I'm sad. I watch a funny movie. I watch a funny movie, yes, that is a good suggestion. When he cleans the house. When it rains. He listens to music. He listens to music. Yeah. Okay, nice, very good. You see, easy, right? Easy peasy. Yes. Now, guys, it's your turn. We had a lot of exercises over here. What are you going to do? You have to uh, order the sentences to make the... Okay, you have to order the words to make sentences. For example, people not exercise, they get fat. What is that? If the they. Okay, if people. If, if people, people. Not exercise. If people do not exercise or don't exercise. exercise. Comma. They get fat. Oh, great. Right. Okay, if people do not exercise, they get fat. Please continue with the others. <gasps> Thank you so much. Yes, I need to take the second attendance. Okay, give me one moment. Thank you, I just forgot and it's 9.10. Oh, we were so excited with the zero condition now. Okay, so let's say, let's start with Alba Vides. Present. Alfredo Rodas. Present. Amir Carcañengues. I'm here. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Fátima del Carmen Portillo. Present. José Matías Lemu Ramírez. I am present. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Ay, I always forget to mention. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Present. Mauricio Alexander Majano. Present. Maydeli Judith Díaz. Nancy Lisa Rodriguez. Present teacher. Really? Oh. Okay, nice. Rocío Martinez. Salvador Escobar. Sandra Velázquez. Present teacher. Victor David Salazar. Present. Walter Daniel González Pérez. William Eduardo Pérez García. Jasmine Melanie Lemos. Lexi de Chats, Walter Daniel y William says present. Okay. Good. Okay, guys, please, let's, let's complete the, the statement, the exercise, let's do the exercise.
Okay, guys, you can send the sentences in the chat. What about number two? If the weather change a lot, Pedro get sick. Okay, if the weather changes, because the weather Should is we... third person. Pedro hates Pedro hates is sick if the weather are changing a lot. That is another way, uh-huh, Pedro. Get, get sick. sick. Get. When the weather, or if the weather changes a lot. Changes. Because changes. weather is it, right? Third person singular. It's it. Pedro is also third person singular. Pedro gets sick when the weather changes a lot. Pedro gets. I wake up late, I be late for school. If I, mm -hmm. I am, I am late for school. If I wake up, I wake up late, I'm late for school. If I wake up late, I am late for school, or I am late for school if I wake up late. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. Believe you can do it, Matias. No he entendido todavía la estructura, porque yo le había puesto y if if Pedro if Pedro uh -huh. así le había puesto yo if if Pedro, Pedro get does does get it es que tenía que hacer solo con lo que te sugerían ahí sin el das pero lo que no sé si... en la primera en das la primera es para puso. preguntas Pero teacher, mm -hmm. en la primera usted puso do. If Porque era do negativo, not. do not. En negativo sí vamos a usarlo. El aunque, no lo, aunque no lo dé la, la pregunta. Porque Ajá, no, pero no se sabe dado. cuando es negativo usamos un auxiliar. Ok. Uh -huh. sí. le digo esto? Y ¿Cómo? tiene que fijarse en cuál es la condición y cuál es el resultado. Porque, por ejemplo, si decimos... El, el clima cambia mucho cuando Pedro se enferma. ¿Verdad que no tiene sentido? Sí, el clima. Ay, ah, sí, sí, el clima cambia ¿Qué? mucho, Pedro ¿Qué? se enferma. Pero el clima no cambia si Pedro se enferma. El que se enferma es Pedro si el clima cambia. María... Pero eso si Pedro se enferma, si el, si el clima cambia. Entonces ahí no sería it. it. If the weather changes a lot, Pedro gets sick. Ajá, si el, si el clima cambia mucho, Pedro se enferma. Ok. Ah, Entonces, ¿Y cuándo vamos a usar ver? La, tienes que fijarse en qué cuál es la condición. Pero ahí te puso buen, buen Eva. Vaya, miren la siguiente. Dice... If you, uh, uh, pueden hacerlo, vamos a ver de qué manera. Algunos han puesto if not, pero es así, mire. If you don't, if you don't bet, acuérdense que para usar el negativo. Usamos al auxiliar. Un auxiliar. If you don't bet, you cannot win the lottery. Si no apuesta. No puede ganar la lotería. Tiene que apostar, jugar, ¿verdad? You cannot win the lottery if you don't bet. Don't bet. Okay. 
We have another one, Maria. Maria. Maria Hetz. Teacher. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I listen, mister. Backache. O backache. No, backache. Dolor de espalda. Okay. Dolor de espalda. Ok. Entonces, se diga, if... if Maria miss Pilates classes, she get backache. Backache. She get, she get backache. a backache. Ok. Or Maria gets a backache if she misses. Misses, misses because it's the third person singular. If she misses pilot's classes. Y en la primera estructura también el misses tenía que ser, ¿verdad? Ajá, if she misses okay. pilot's classes. Maria gets a packet or Maria, if Maria misses pilot's classes, she gets a packet. Acuérdense la tercera persona en el presente simple, vamos a agregar la S. Yes. Ok, you cannot six. Number six. Cannot use a mobile if you don't charge it. Charge it. Mm, vamos a ver, Mauricio dice. Mauricio dice, si no lo puede cargar, no... No lo use. Mm. <ríe> ok, sería así, mire. O sea, aquí ya casi se los dice, solo tienen que poner el if... If you, okay, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot use a mobile if, if you don't charge it. If you don't charge it. Right. No puede usar su teléfono móvil si no lo carga. If you don't. Font. No font. <laughs> if you don't charge it, si no lo carga. Diga Nancy. Hello, teacher. Hello, Nancy. No, no estaba diciendo nada, solo estaba formando la oración, teacher. Okay, thinking out loud. It's okay. When my sister. Okay, when my sister cooks. She brings the food. When Matias cooks, I'm sorry, when my sister cooks. <laughs> she burns. She burns the food. She burns the food. Karina. Karina gets mad if if she if she misses one soap opera episode. Do you know what a soap opera is? Teacher, ¿por qué se van borrando, teacher, de las que usted va haciendo? Problema de Zoom. No, no entiendo qué es lo que pasa. Yo la veo completa. No, yo... Nosotros sí, la debemos primer, cortar. De primer, de primer le iba anotando porque pensé que pero después le iba a sacar un screenshot, pero ya vi que no tengo que copiar los teachers. Do you know what a soap opera is? 
No, teacher. For example, Betty La Fea, Pedro Lescamoso. La novela. La novela. La Okay, the next one. Can somebody tell me? If you smoke. If you smoke, your teeth you become, become yellow. yellow. That's true. Your teeth. I walk to work. If the weather be fine. Or when the weather, when the weather. Is fine. Is fine. Marcy. Marcy. Travels every travel every year. If has money, if money, if she, if she, if she has money, if she has money, has has because that is the form of the verb have in for the third person singular. Okay, Jordan. Doesn't wear. Doesn't wear sun lotion. Sun lotion. Doesn't wear sun lotion. If get a, if get a sunburn. If he gets a sunburn. Okay, let me know when you finish taking notes, please. What is the mean that sunburst teacher? Quemada del sol. Entonces, sun lotion es como, ¿cómo se llama esto? Lo que se ponen para Bloqueado. protegerse del sol, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Algunos, ese es como sun protection or sunscreen, but uh -huh. sun lotion is like when you want to get a tan skin. Algunos se usan bronceador. O bloqueador. O es que está el bronceador es para que agarrar color. Sí. Y el bloqueador es para no quemarse. Entonces sería eso: sun lotion. Yes, pollution. Don't borrow. Don't lose. Mm 
La, la número 3, teacher. No, la, chicos, aquí, la, aquí tienen, tienen razón. Vaya, vamos a arreglar esta. Ay. Se me borró. Ok. Sería, mire. Jordan. Es que me había confundido con el Sontan. Sontan Lotion. ¿Qué no? ¿Qué no? ¿Qué wear? Ok. Jordan, Jordan gets, get a gets a sunburn. Uh -huh. If no wear a lot of sunburn. When, uh -huh, if he doesn't wear sun lotion. Or when he doesn't wear sun lotion. Así es la forma correcta, chicos. I'm sorry. Where, mister, you use the word, you use the verb, where, when you are talking about things that you put on your body. For example, clothes, accessories, or cream. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, can we go to the next activity? Yeah? yeah. Next sample. Yes, teacher. Good. If somebody took a screenshot, you can send it in the group. Okay, now this is the exercise in the book. Complete the sentences using the words provided in the correct verb. Example, if I wake up late, mm -hmm. what happens? Uh -huh. If I wake up late, if I wake up late, I'm I am late for work. Okay. My son burns, burns the food if he cooks alone. If employees don't eat If employees don't eat well, they don't are, no, they aren't. They aren't healthy or they are not healthy. When she pays, like, pays, 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 pays the bills on time. She don't have. She doesn't. Doesn't have to pay extra. Doesn't she have. doesn't have to pay extra money. If the incomes. Teacher. Allí no bajas, teacher. No, porque tenemos no. el auxiliar. Cada vez que usamos un auxiliar, if, el if verbo no la va a ser based on. Ajá, la forma base del verbo. Ya sea en el presente, pasado, futuro, como sea. Si hay un auxiliar, el verbo va en forma base. Uh -huh. Teacher. Diga. My sunburn. Ah, sí, ya lo cambió. Que okay, estaba sin la S. If the incomes are, are, are good. Are good. An employee. Receives a bonus. We 
sell more products. We sell, no, I'm sorry, we sell no, more sell. products when we know the customer need. When we know the customer's need. needs. Okay, easy, right? Easy peasy. Teacher. Tell me, Mr. Kanyanga. In the homework for this day, mm -hmm. I have a problem with two, two sentences. Mm -hmm. And there, there is a, only one, uh, no sé cómo se dice recuadro, pero es decir, el ejercicio consta de dos de dos oraciones, uh -huh. pero solo tenemos un recuadro. Allí es donde vamos a usar estas preposition of the conditional. The conditionals. Vamos the conditional. a ver. Sí, hay que escribirla completa la, uh -huh. la oración. Ah, ok. Pero como no habíamos llegado, no lo sabíamos. ¿verdad? Ajá, ya ven por qué es importante estar en la clase. No, lo que no, lo you importante see, es no, no adelantarte a la clase. No, you see how important teachers are. <laughs> Very important. Very important teachers. Voy a buscarlo aquí para que lo veamos todos. Para que me está cargando. Vaya, chicos. Eh, luego de esta actividad. Vamos a hacer unas, unas eh, short conversations. How to use zero condition? Okay. Okay. Please let me know if you can see my screen, okay? Do you see? Yes. Okay. So complete the sentences using the words provided in the correct verb. If I... If I wake up late... I am late for work. Okay. My son. Oh, it's exactly what we are doing. My son burns the food if he cooks alone. If employees. Uh -huh, That's not. Don't. That's it. Don't. Nancy, ¿por qué? Porque son plurales. If employees don't eat well, okay. they are not. They are not healthy. If she pays her bills on time. She doesn't have to pay extra money. If the incomes are good, an employee uh -huh, receives restores. Sí, yo, yo me recordaba que hay que, que poner separado el don, creo. Do not. Do not. Mm -hmm.
decent. Teacher, le dio dos espacios ahí, teacher. Very sad. Después del not. Ah, hay un espacio extra. Okay, thanks. You y are the puso expert. Puso not o puso aren't. Are not. Are not. If employees do not eat well, they aren't. They are not healthy. Maybe health aren't. El punto, teacher. Oh, no. Are not. It's right. Mm. What happens? I, I, I did. If employees don't eat uh, well, comma. They uh -huh. aren't healthy. And at the end, you have to add the, the point or the dot. Oh, the period. Yeah, so they are contracted. Congratulations, congratulations, teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so now, guys, you are going to work in groups, small groups. And you will have some situations here. So you're going to create a conversation that includes one of the following conditions. You don't come to class. You complete your homework. You eat a lot of carbohydrates. You earn a lot of money. You spend more, more money than what you earn. Gasta más de lo que gana. You work extra hours. You don't get enough sleep. You don't have friends. But in su grupo, in your group, you're going to choose one of these situations and you're going to give, you're going to tell your partner about the results. And maybe you can give some piece of advice. ¿Sí? ¿Quién, ¿Puede alguien decirme qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Armar un diálogo a partir de estas statement. Exactly. Very good. What else? Solamente eso. Vamos a más condicionales. Si van a usar los condicionales. Hey Matías, if you don't come to class, you don't pass the course. Okay, so come to class, Matías. Okay, so you're gonna create those conversations. Okay? You can create one or two short conversations. If you have enough time, you can make more than one short conversation. Okay. So please, let's go and work in groups.
Hello, Walter. I not complete. I don't complete the homework. Ahí sería, ahí sería como en pasado. Did you complete the homework? Completaste la tarea. No, I didn't. Y ahí le puede decir, remember, if you don't complete the homework, you don't pass the course. Okay. Ahí estoy. Estaba esperando esta okay. clase. Teacher, bueno. I have a question. Tell me, Mr. Lemus. En memo. Lemus. Lemus. Ok. Lemus. <ríe> Mr. Memo. Mr. Lemus. Ok. En... ¿Podemos hacer la continuidad de las oraciones que está puesto ahí? En the conversation. For example, for example, if you don't come to class, you oh. don't understand the homework. Ok, nice. Yes. Or, uh, you don't come to class when... ¿Cuál era, Cañigue? You work extra hours. Ok. Uh -huh. When you... Uh -huh. When I work extra hours, I don't come to class. Ok. It makes y, sense. Y en, conver y en conversación, teacher, o, o, o lo podemos solo hacer la continuidad así. Bueno, yo les había pedido hacer conversations, pero si quiere hacer el ejercicio así, también está bien. The, the, the important thing is that you practice conditionals, zero conditionals, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, if you... Oh, oh. I think the teacher will help us. <laughs> teacher, of course. Uh, we, want, <laughs> we want to say, um, if you complete your homework, you you get good notas pero como buenas calificaciones great ah, great Grace. you get good grades yes okay. if you complete your homework ¿Cómo? Estaré más pendiente. I will be more in. The class. Uh -huh. Of the class. In the class. Um, ahí no escucha, Tich. <laughs> Okay. okay. Hi, Nancy. When you don't come to the class, remember, if you don't come to the class, you don't pass the module what module, module forward. Module forward. Ella dice, hi, Marco, did you okay. write? I will be more in the class. Una okay, Marco, I will. I will be in the class. I will be. O puede ser ya no perderé clases. I won't miss. I will be. I will. I won't. O puede ser ya no perderé más clases. I won't miss more classes. 
The day I want. Oh, I, will, I will not or I want miss more classes. Miss more class. Classes. I will not miss more classes or I want miss more classes. Okay. Miss more classes. Okay. Short conversation. The time is flying. I'm sorry? The time is flying. Yes, it's true. Wow. La podemos poner así como, como la puse en el chat. Good. So let's see who is ready to present the short conversation to the class. I think that we can start with Nancy and Marco. Okay, Nancy, are you ready? Hi, Marco. Right, I'm beginner. Hi, Nancy. Uh, <laughs> so, Nancy. Nancy. Hi, hi. When you don't come to the class, remember if you don't if you don't come to the class, you don't pass the module four. Hi, Marcos. I don't miss more class. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. So don't miss more classes because if you don't come to class, you won't pass. You don't pass the model. Okay. Carlos, who's your partner, Carlos? Bro. Okay, Carlos and Alfredo. <laughs> Hello, Carlos. How are you? Hi, Alfredo. I'm fine. And you? Very well. Did you complete the homework? No, I didn't. Remember, Carlos, if you don't complete the homework, you don't pass the course. Thanks for remembering me. I start to do it in this moment. Could you help me? Yes, of course. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, Fatima. Who is your partner, Fatima? Mauricio, teacher, but we didn't make a conversation. We just complete the statement. Yes. Okay. Can you, can you tell me two and Mauricio can tell me another two? Okay. Um, if you don't come, if you complete your homework, you get good grades. Um, if if I left a lot of money, I can buy a car. Oh, nice, <laughs> <laughs> Mauricio. Your examples. If you eat a lot of Carbohydrate, you get fat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you did a, if you eat a lot of carbohydrates. Okay, and the second one. Otra. Yes, please, Mauricio. Okay. Uh, you don't come to class not uh, file a next model pass. 
If you don't come to class, you don't pass to the next model. Okay, thank you. Fatima and Mauricio. Matias? Okay. Who is your uh, partner? Teacher, uh, nosotros le hicimos así. Ah, okay. Give me uh, one example. One or uh, two examples. One, two. Okay, two. Uh, if you don't come to class, you don't understand the homework. Great. That's totally true. Okay, and uh, if you earn a lot of money, keep in the bank. Keep it in the bank. You can keep it. You can keep it. You in can the keep bank. it in the bank. Okay. Yes. Domingo Amirka? And me, teacher. Okay, Mr. Asito. If you complete your homework, you are getting next module. Okay, you can pass to the next model. Okay. Okay. Um, and another, if you eat a lot of carbohydrate. 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 Uh, you. Seria, you. You. Drink a lot of water. Okay, you should drink. You should drink a lot of water. Okay, Domingo, or you have to eat, you have to drink a lot of water. Okay, Domingo Alexander. Uh, is you work extra house? I wear it records by my box. If you work extra hours, can you repeat, please? Is, is you work or, or work over time? The work request, requested by my box. The result. I, I don't get what the result is. No sé si. si trabajo no, horas extras. Puse cuando lo solicita mi jefe, nada más. Oh, okay, I work extra hours when my boss requires me to do my it. Boss requires. Ah, okay. Okay, great. Excellent people. Nice. I'm so proud of you that you could understand this topic. Excellent. So just let me take the last attendance, please. Don't forget to say present or here. Um, Alba Noravides. Present. Alfredo Alexander. Present, teacher. Amir Carcañengues. Present. Carlos Rodriguez. Present. Roxana Romero, Domingo González, Present. Fátima Portillo, Present. José Matías, Present. Marco David, Present. Marlon Alberto, Mauricio Alexander, Present. Maydeli Judith, Nancy Rodríguez, Rocío Martínez. Present. Oh, Rocío, you're here. Um, who is Nancy? Nancy, teacher. I'm sorry. Salvador Escobar. Sandra Velázquez. Present, teacher. Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter Daniel. William Eduardo and Melanie Lemon. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for staying. And remember, tomorrow is the last video conference, and it is an makes mandatory. It's an obligation to be in the last video conference because 
We need to complete the survey. Necesitamos completar la encuesta que es parte de su proceso para continuar en el siguiente módulo con InstaFor. ¿okay? Eh, okay. Les voy a mandar una información a su WhatsApp. O oh, creo que ya la recibieron de parte de... de oh, lo mando. De, corporativo. No sé si ya recibieron el correo. Sí, ya lo recibieron. Eh, por WhatsApp es, me lo mandaron. Por WhatsApp me lo También. Ok, Real ya lo recibieron entonces. Muy bien. Excelente. Vale, esa es la información que mañana aquí juntos lo vamos a hacer con la ayuda o con la auditoría de una persona de, de Instagram, ¿verdad? A la, esa persona se va a conectar con nosotros y cuando esa persona se conecte, vamos a parar la actividad que estemos haciendo y vamos a realizar la encuesta. Ok. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your collaboration and for your participation in class. Have a Bye beautiful night, night, people. Have a good night. Rest well. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good, Good, night. Night. Good night. See you tomorrow, people. See you tomorrow. Bye, Marlon. See you tomorrow. Hey Marlon, so you had some problems with the internet. <laughs>